Hi everyone and welcome to 24 Karat Healing's weekly intuitive guided messages for May 26th to June 1st. This week is all about growth, a uh, big week for growth. You have learned many lessons. Now it's time for growth and expansion. You have learned, watched, observed and sat quietly. Now go out and expand and stretch grow find your inner goddess or god because you are that you have the power to heal yourself you hold the key to happiness to love to your heart get going be who you're meant to be this is all about individuality this is about unconditional love stardust and magic and just a little tidbit i don't know if you can see the horses in the background but i'm actually live uh, at a psychic fair this weekend but i still wanted to give you guys those messages those guided messages for the week um, this has actually been a huge week for myself uh, for growth and um, I didn't bring my camera holder so you have to bear with me <laughs> It's just me. Anyways, um, nothing to hold the phone. I, I've got my left arm. I'm using my right. I'm, I'm doing it all right now because I felt drawn that you guys needed this message for the week. Um, as this is my first ever fair where I've done back-to-back -back readings live with music and there's on stage speakers. So there's a lot of noise. A lot of distraction going on, and I managed to do it all. I, I surprised myself. I, I actually let my ego get in there. So I guess this message is for all of you. Is this a week for growth, a week for changes, and really pushing yourself um, and not letting fear get in there? Put your hand on your heart and lead with love. All right. So your first card. Um, for the week is going to be well you know how you know how the week works I I draw cards for the week oh there's my banner um, so I draw cards for the week three cards I look for the we look for the strength card the heart card and the well oh, there goes my phone again and the challenge card so your first uh, card is strength all right so we're looking at the this is a wonderful card it's 22 it's the yin and the yang so this is your yin and yang card a um, lot of synchronicity with this it's about balancing the fe male and female energies so essentially um, it's a time for great receptivity intuition a lot of growth um, and external circumstances may be forcing you to go within and examining your present activity. So this is time to wrap things up. Yin cycles call on you to be passive, more open, being more than acting is the intention here. So your affirmation is you're open to understanding the cycle you're in and you're willing to utilize its energy beneficially. And all that you need is already part of you. So um intuitive logical passive action so it's moving you out of you know certain experiences and into new ones so that is your yin and yan cycle so they're asking you to be more yin more feminine more intuitive okay all the answers are within you i thought i got a paper cut there for a minute <laughs> hopefully you guys can hear me uh, the next card is your strength card um, and it's all about caring connections so you see the card here it's caring connections obviously there's a relationship going on here <laughs> so um, there's tender connections there's caring connections this week friendship um, partnership um, it's, you know, it's obviously between two people and a beginning or a deepening of a kindred spirit friendship or even appearance of a new love. It could also signify a new business partnership and be on the lookout for new connections. So that's what this week is all about. Um, notice the opportunities 
forge new and deeper bonds. And there's a very tender um, connection at hand here. And basically, you're opening your heart and life to caring connections, and the ideal friend or partner is coming to you right now. So far, all these cards have been pretty amazing this week. Uh, the last week of May and the first day of June is pretty, pretty amazing, right? Um, your last card is going to be, and they're saying this is a challenge. Um, <laughs> and we're talking about your second chakra. So this is inviting you to be more playful. Um, you're looking at the Archangel Ariel. You can see the beautiful orange color. Call her in when you're looking for creativity. So it's asking you to be more creative this week. Um, intimacy, creativity. Uh, so greater comfort, intimacy, um, unexplored areas of self-expression, new projects, creative approaches. Energies are close, nurturing, you can flow more freely. It seems to be more in, um, emotional intimacy coming your way right now. So nurture yourself, be ready to receive uh, those resonant souls that are around you. Now guys, I wanna apologize for all the noise. Not much I could do, I'm really close to the stage. I'm just gonna pan out so you can kind of see what's going on and how many people there are here and just all the stuff that's going on. Um, let me know if any of this resonates for you guys and I wanna wish you love, light and blessings this week. And I promise next week we'll be a lot quieter. And say hello to all my horse friends in the background. And uh, the big guy there, he's, he's, he's camera shy. He doesn't like any pictures. Uh, I want you guys to remember that healing begins where the ego ends.